What's good, y'all? Hope y'all are doing well. Today, it's a rather celebratory shave because I got this back in the den, Black Lynn razors, the Black Lynn Vector. Beautiful razor. I'm continuing using the Kai Pro Touch MGs. This will be the third use, and uh, I'm really excited to have this back. So that's the razor. The soap we're gonna be using today, first time use, Kiri Tamati by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and I'm really excited to use this as well. This is a banger, guys. It's another bay, it's another bay scent. I guess you could call it a bay rum, not really. It's, it, the, the reason I like it is because the bay's in the background, like way in the background, like it's not as strong as like uh, the other bay rums that Phoenix Shaving has. So, and you almost fill it up to the top. Look at that, look at that pour. It's not the neatest pour, but he does fill it up. So for the brush, Declaration B7. Let me just spray out the water here. Oh yeah, I was actually gonna try something new as well. So I picked up some almond oil and some jojoba oil. I'm gonna try the almond oil today. I heard online somewhere that um, it can work as a good pre-shave because I did like the sterling pre-shave oil. So I'm gonna try a couple drops of this. It might go well, it might go horrible. Um, yeah. I think. There you go. That's how much I got, just a little bit. That's too much oil. Okay, I like to do a super thin layer on my skin, not too thick. I kind of water it down. The only annoying thing about using oil is you just gotta wash your hands. All right, cool. So my hands are washed. Pre-shave oil uh, was applied. This was the almond oil, just testing it out. And now we're gonna get into the load. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is a great scent. I think it's it's a myrrh and frankincense forward. Those are the two main notes, uh, as it says on the top cap as well in the bay. Um, how many seconds are we at? I'm not counting. Shit. <laughs> it's gotta be enough, right? It's Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Suds the flying. Oh yeah. Something I can rock on Christmas right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I left the brush a little bit more wet because I know it could take the water. So that works out. Don't really have to add much water it seems. But yeah. The front the scent notes are Frankincense, myrrh, bay, seaweed, oakwood, ambergris, benzoin, bow spruce, tobacco, labdanum, and lavender. You do get the lavender in the background. Speaking of lavender, just barely. Um, what else do you get? You have to get the fur, the myrrh, sorry, and the frankincense. A little bit of benzoin. I don't get the tobacco at all. I do get the uh, little tiny hint of labanum. Um, it's just blended so well. I think Doug is really, Doug and Fran, they might even be underrated when it comes to scents. Everyone talks about their base. This is crazy. <laughs> Everyone talks about the CK6 base, but I feel like people don't really talk about the scents enough. Like they're just killing it with scents. They have like so many scents and they're pretty creative. And a lot of them are original. Pretty much most of them are original. They do have the doppelganger line for like uh, 
uh, I guess, like uh, dupes, but they don't really go crazy on the dupes. They kind of just, as my friend likes to call it, mad scientists when they're creating sense. Yeah, so I loaded the brush too much, as usual, with CK6, because this is ridiculous. It feels pretty good, not too thick, still pretty slick. All right, cool. All right, first pass. Should go by quickly, though, because I got the artist clubs. They go by pretty fast, so. Wow, it feels a little tuggy. Maybe you gotta wet the bleed. Yeah, there you go. You know what, I forgot the added bleed fuel and efficiency that this razor has versus my Paradigm SC, which has more of a mild blade feel. So I guess that was like the initial shock I got. Yeah. I just love the slim head design. Yeah, he recently came out with the open cone, but I don't think I'm picking it up. I feel like this has enough blade feel for my liking. Even if the open cone by chance has more efficiency, I don't know if I want that added blade feel to go with it. Um, there is also no guarantee that the open cone will be more efficient. I know Rudd's got his hands on it, and he said the efficiency was about the same as well. And he also prefers the solid bar uh, vector. Um, I guess people who like more blade feel should get the open cone. So it's good to have options. But yeah, fantastic set, guys. Um, after all these times using CK6, I feel like I have not mastered the loading time. It's either too little or too much. Like I did a 10 second load once, it was like not enough. Anything above 20 is just freaking madness. <laughs> but anyways, that was the first pass. The oil didn't seem to make a huge difference. I don't know. I feel like it would probably help more with um, like a glycerin soap, but like an artisan soap, probably not as noticeable. Um, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> cool. I'm just going to get some water in the brush here. Paint it in. Nice. Yeah, I really don't need to agitate anymore. At this point, <laughs> work it in a little bit, and then just paint it on. I'm good. Yeah, you really get the myrrh and the frankincense more than anything. The bay, those are like the three main things, and then you get a little bit of sweetness from that benzoin and uh, a little bit of lavender. It's it's quite balanced. I'm thinking of picking up that. Uh, Space Nog, I did pick up some samples. The Malbage, or the Malboge, whatever, is appealing to me. And the, what's it called? The Space Nog. Tried the Cider House 5, didn't care for it. I think we're... PAA really excels as the Bay Rums. They kind of just know how to do it. Wow. Did I cut myself? No, I did not. Like, I forgot how, like, cruise control this razor really is. It just makes shaving so easy.
Yeah. Very nice. So yeah, we're not we're not quite EDS. I have to go against the grain, maybe sideways more onto the neck, but the face is pretty much golden. All right. Last and final pass. Have you guys picked up any soaps this season or are you busy Christmas shopping for loved ones? <laughs> um, I don't think you'd want to anyways online because I'm pretty sure USPS delays are through the roof right now. I saw Chris make a video that addressed it. Like just talked about it. All right, so I guess 15 second load is the way to go from now on. Still learning. <laughs> So on the third shave, on this blade, it doesn't seem to be as smooth as the first, which is weird because for me, they normally smoothen out over time rather than get less smooth. Like shaves, like two to seven are super smooth typically on artist clubs for me. And then after that, they tend to drop off. Very nice. I know uh, Ken said this razor was only medium plus efficiency, but, well, it's not only, but I don't know, for me, it's pretty efficient. It's not the smoothest razor in my den, but it's plenty smooth enough. Like it's a, it's a good, it's a good balance between comfort and efficiency. I'd say it's it's more efficient than the Paradigm uh, single edge for sure. Not by a lot, but I'd say by a little bit. I should probably do a comparison shave. For some reason, the comparison shave videos tend to do well. <laughs> We'll be at 12 minutes. All right, get our lens off real quick and then we'll get into the post shave. So did the almond oil add any post shave? Yeah, this is 100% almond oil. Uh, maybe a little bit, yeah. I found that the oil in general has been adding to the post shave whenever I use oil, but CK6 is also good in its own right. So there's that. Another thing too, this is great for hitting the lines on the beard. If you like bulky heads like Timeless, and this razor is not for you if you like the nets. I guess this razor is for you. I know uh, Leaf is coming out with a razor like this. It's called a Leaf Twig. It's like it takes uh, half DE bleeds, but it's a similar concept and head to this. Similar. It's not a copy or anything, but it uses one half bleeds and you kind of line it up with it. Which is cool. But yeah, we're pretty much done. Um, yeah, I enjoy the set. Um, if you like straight up bay rums, this is probably not for you. But if you like something with a twist, you'll probably enjoy it. We do have the matching splash. And what's crazy about it is it's got like an actual bay leaf in it or two. Can you guys see that? Like, who else is doing that in their splash? It's pretty wild. Um, damn, dude. One thing I hate, though, is the freaking... 
the restrictor. Um, yeah, way too much comes out. I tried the upside down thing. Disaster. I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, anyways, we're going to attempt to add that. First, I'm going to add some straight up serum. Us the usual. Why not? Put some hydrating gel from Groom Department. And then the finishing touch here. That's good. If I need to add more, I'll add more. Damn. The splash scent always comes through over the soap. Just, just always comes through better because the alcohol pulls the fragrance better, I guess. Oh yeah, that's close. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.